desk currently looks. I have um, little fake leaves. I'll pull you guys in closer now that you've seen an overview. But uh, I have fake leaves on there from the Dollar Tree. I've got <clears throat> a bunch of fall stuff out. And I think it's just time to finally switch it to winter stuff. So I picked up a couple things from the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to show you guys my idea of how I'm going to going to decorate my desk today and it's going to be mainly with all Dollar Tree items or thrift store items so it's going to be very cheap and easy to recreate so let's get started. I'm going to start with taking all of the leaves and fall things off of my desk. Now the only thing that stinks about taking my fall decorations down is I don't have any um, like white Christmas lights to put up so I'm gonna have to go to like CVS or something and get some white Christmas lights for my desk because I really enjoyed having these orange lights um, all throughout fall I've just been keeping my extra bag of not flappers leaves in my desk and I have like a little basket in my closet that is currently holding all of my fall things. So, oh, don't forget I bought her a candle. I definitely have enough leaves. <laughs> and this. Halloween lights that I got from the Dollar Tree and throw them over on the bed. So I'm going to put this stuff kind of back where it was. Um, so I'm going to get there in a second. All right. The next thing that you're going to need to create my vision of what I want to do. I'm not even sure how this is going to turn out, but I wanted to tape this because it's going to be cheap. So. You are going to need two of the tall, are you guys, can you guys even see those? Yes. Okay, you're going to need two of the tall bases. I got the bases that bow out at the top just because I thought they looked more fancy. And then I got one of these smaller ones because I'm going to put a tiny pillar candle in there. So I have two pillar candles like this. And then at the Dollar Tree, the biggest pillar candle they had were these ones. So I picked up one of these to go in this one. So now I'm going to get my hot glue gun out. I'm going to clean all the stickers off the bottom of everything first. But then I'm going to get my hot glue gun out and hot glue these to these. So they're going to look like that. They're going to sit a little bit higher and look, I think, way more better than they look just sitting on the desk. So I got the first one done and I thought that I would show you guys what I have to do because I'm pretty sure that probably all these stickers are the same and going to be a pain in the butt to get off. Um, these ones, they peel off really easily. They don't leave like any sticker residue except like maybe a little bit. So those are really easy to get off and I wish they made all of them like this because these ones that are actually, well that one wasn't as easy to get off, but these ones that are on the candles are actually relatively hard, like the candle vase. Also, I just cut my finger open, so we're doing dandy. Um, so basically, I just got my X-Acto knife, and I'm scraping the sticker off the bottom. Uh, if you're young, get like your mom or dad to help you, because literally while I was using this X-Acto knife, my hand slipped and I proceeded to slice my finger open. So this is not a very safe part. Um, I wish that these stickers didn't do this, but I hate the stickers that when you try to peel off, they like separate from each other and they leave like the white part. Hate it, but now my finger is sliced open and bleeding a little bit, <laughs> so. That's great. So once you get your sticker off, you're going to be left with like a stickery residue on the bottom where you can actually see like where the sticker was. 
Typically, you can get that off with like any kind of alcohol. And I like to use nail polish remover just because I have it on hand and right here. Um, so you just basically get all of the sticker part off like that. Take your nail polish remover and just go over it. And it basically makes that little sticker residue area disappear. Also, if like your lantern's dirty, I find that this cleans it really well too. Like, hold on, I'll show you guys in a second. Um, just from the smoke of the candle in here, cleans it right off. So I'm going to do that to the rest of them and get back with you guys. So after you have all of your pieces cleaned, the stickers are off all the bottom of these and the bottoms of the residue has been cleaned off. You just want to get one of your candle holder bottoms, which is actually for like the tall emergency candles. But I ingeniously, I think saw this on Pinterest, so I'm not taking exact credit for it. But some, my finger is killing me. So basically plug in your hot glue gun, warm it up, which mine takes a second. I think this is going to look really cute. And some of the stuff that I'm going to use today um, for my desk, I also got at the Dollar Tree. I just picked it up last year. So I don't know. They tend to come out with something like the same. Why is this so hard to open? They tend to come out with stuff that is pretty similar each year, if not like a little bit better. So, we have our little baby candle, which I think is going to be really cute. And I don't know how fast these actually like burn because I've never used them before. So, I picked up three of them just in case. Um, so I think I'm going to do the small one first. Just make sure the bottom is completely dry. Make sure up here is looking good. Make sure your hot glue gun is going. Which mine's still not ready yet. So, you're going to line it on the rim. And set that puppy right in the middle. Probably would be easier to do it like this. And that one is complete. I really like the way these turn out. I think these look very like pure one import, you know. So I'm going to do the same. I'm going to flip this one over. And these actually have like little swirls in the bottom so you can see like where they're, where the middle of them is without really having to guess. Sorry, my hands are very shaky for some reason. Press down on them. Get the little spiderweb strings away. And that one's done too. Last one. Go around the rim. Sorry for the shakiness. Flip it over and stick it. Now once the candles are in there, you're not going to be able to see the hot glue, but it's really not even that noticeable if you don't put a lot on there. So they look like this all finished and with the candles in there. Boop. That one looks like this. This one's fit in here like that. So those are my candles that I'm going to use for this. So this is what I came up with. Um, let me back you guys up just a tad. I have my picture frame right here that I got from the thrift store. It was gold and ugly and I painted it turquoise, which is like my favorite color right now. And it's very Christmassy because it's like snow color. Um, I have my two huge pillar candles and then my little pillar candle. All of that stuff's from the Dollar Tree you saw me make at the beginning. My little cracked thing that has my cosmetics in it is from the Dollar Tree. It was in the potting section um, about a year ago. 
And then the little tiny mason jar candles from the Dollar Tree, the he instant burner heat thing. That's from Bath and Body Works, and that was a really long time ago. Uh, let me pull you guys closer now. My little nutcracker, I got that from the Dollar Tree today, and these two owls, mine fart, I got those from the Dollar Tree last year around this time, and then the white owl is from Pier 1, and then the snowflakes is from a pack that I got at the Dollar Tree. So, I hope you guys like it, and let me know what you think of my desk for winter. Show you guys, this is my favorite way to sit and enjoy my desk, which is like in the complete darkness with my candles burning. Let me know what you guys think of it, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys!